Hey guys, good morning. I thought I'd take a minute and share with you how I make a live bait rig. Lots of different live bait rigs out there, obviously uh, different styles, but I just wanted to show you how I do mine. It's a little bit different than maybe some of the other ones you've seen. So I'll take a minute just to show you. You're gonna need some wire. This is a four out hook, but you know, anything similar would be fine. Some crimps, uh, skirt, a swivel and and a solid ring and some treble hooks and something to cut and bend and crimp with I don't use the crimpers I just use this and I can show you how I do that here in a second first thing we're going to want to do is take a short wire and attach our uh, oh, sorry the neighbors are loud here I'm going to attach our uh, wire to our swivel. So slide that on there like that. Comes off the end. This doesn't have to be pretty by any means. It's going to be all underneath the skirt for the most part. Um, it just needs to hold. So what I do when I crimp without a crimpers is just use the wire cutter part of this and just don't push down so hard like so. And that holds. Guys, trust me, it holds. And hold. Um, and we start on putting the hook on. Okay, slide our hook in there like that there. Now you can adjust this to the right size, right? So I like to have my swivel come out and then so I need it to start right about there. I like the fish nose or the snout to be right at the end of the thing. Um, so I'm gonna scoot that in a bit. So let's see how that would, that's pretty close. Maybe I'll just pull it in a bit more. Yeah, that's that's where I like to position mine. So we'll crimp, crimp that one down as well. Same way, just start at one end with the wire cutters. You don't need to push too hard. Just hard enough that you reset that metal. Push it down. And that's good, that's not going anywhere. Then you can trim off that bit. A bit of wire there. We actually we don't definitely don't need that hanging on there. Okay. So then you have your first piece. Yeah. We're gonna get another bit of wire. We're gonna attach it to the same part of the swivel. We'll call this the hook hook side of the swivel hooks hook side because we're gonna have a lot of hooks on this one so anyway uh, put your through like that and like I said the same same one as the other hook this is the hook side of the swivel Okay, so now you can see we have this one which will go to line and then you have this nice long piece of wire coming off here. I like to cut a nice length, so that's about a foot and a half, maybe a foot and a half of wire from one end to the other. Um, the next thing we're going to do is attach our first our first treble hook, okay? So we're gonna slide a crimp all the way down to where we want that treble hook to be. 
and we're going to slide the treble hook on next to that. And remember, this is where the nose, this is where the nose of the fish is going to start. This is where the nose of the fish is going to start. So we want that first treble hook to be, you know, we don't want it in the eye or in the, in the head of the fish. We want it farther down up the back of the fish. So we'll set it right about there, I think is probably good. Okay, so then we put the, the line back through the same crimp. And we're not going to crimp this one. We're just going to close it. We're just going to close it to keep it from slipping. That's all. So just close it. Okay. So now we can see we have our first, first hook inserted. First one, and we're going to do the next one just like this, just a little bit just spaced out a little bit down, maybe an inch down or half an inch down, I don't know. Um, okay, and then you come back in the same same direction in the swivel, or in the crimp. Same direction, and just give it a squeeze, yeah? Okay, so that'll hold that there. And the next one. And I go straight down the straight down the line with them. Sit. Close this one up as well. Again, we're just pushing those hard enough so it doesn't slide. We're not trying to actually lock it on there. Um, we got one more. One more that we're going to put on the, the end here. The last one you can, you can just, obviously you can just do it on there like you would where one goes opposite direction. You don't have to about double it back through the same way that you did on the other ones, obviously. Okay, and that one you're actually gonna crimp down. Important, the last one, you don't want that sliding. Um, Okay, now I put a, as well, a wire trace on the, on the line leading up to the terminal connection with your, with your leader. Um, some, so I've seen some people do it where they don't, they just put the, put their leader connection straight onto here. I like a I like a wire personally. Before I go to it, I know it's more hardware and some people will probably disagree with me, but uh, I think it's important. Uh, it's a nice piece of nice addition. Um, a lot of times when the like a kingfish will charge charge you a lot of times and take up line and if he's freaking out with his mouth open, there's a good chance he might catch catch your 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 leader. And if he catches your leader, that's it. You're you're losing that fish for sure, right? Um, so just get a couple more crimps here. I dropped a couple on the floor. Okay. So back to where we were. Um, just a little leader. A little wire trace coming off of, uh, of uh, your rig helps clean it up.
Okay. So that's that. This is when we put our skirt on. So you can just clip off the expose the hole in the in the skirt there. Slide this down. Let it sit over top of there. Just pull it. I like to pull it through so that so that can spin. Okay. Then the final thing that I like to do to my rigs is I put a just a circ, uh, uh, sorry, a, a solid ring on the end just to make it easy to hook up to your tackle, to your line. And again, some people might say it's too much hardware, you need to make it cleaner. This is just how I do it. Um, So, that's halas. Okay, let me just get the camera back so you can see the whole thing here. Okay, so we have, again, uh, solid ring attached to the wire leader that runs down to the skirt. Obviously underneath the skirt is the swivel have your hook that you're going to put through the nose or through the snout or through the mouth of the fish and it comes down to your treble hook.